Now, let's look at this space seven architect, this space uh, seven architecture. So we are currently on the slide, on the second slide, upgrading to this space seven. So let's look at this space seven architecture. Now, before we do that, let's look at this space six architecture. This space six, we have um, seven separate web apps. So this section is a bit technical, okay, it's for system administrator, but I'll be very brief so as not to waste our time, okay? But um, I believe we can learn one or two things here as well as Liberian. So we have uh, seven separate web apps in this space of uh, six. No GSP UI, XML UI, SWORD, OAI, PMH, API, RDF, and Solar. So those are the seven web apps. Then two UI, that's GSP UI Net and XML UI. And uh, we have... Um, for web services and uh, an asset store. So each dotted red line is a web app. You know, they are web apps. That is the space six. Now let's look at the space seven structure. Now in the space seven, the user interface is now one. No more JSP UI, no more XML UI. So the space seven is running on the Node.js, Angular UI. Front end. So the user interface is called front end. It's only one, which has been powered by Node.js. Okay, that's the front end. Then the back end is also a single web app. So the SWOT, the API, the OIPMH, the RDF, they are all one single app now. And the solar has been decoupled. In this space six, Solar is coupled together, but in this space seven, solar is now decoupled. It's a separate application. It's no longer embedded in this space seven. So in this space seven, we have the front end and the back end. The front end is the UI, the user interface, which um, uh, the, 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 the one I'm using for demonstration, that's the front end. Then the back end, we call it the REST API, the RESTful interface, that is the back end, where our information is being stored the asset store, the database, you know, the solar, all our servers and everything, they are, they are the backend. So let's move on. Now preparing for this space seven upgrade, there are two parts to this space seven upgrade, okay? You can either upgrade an existing display six point six point x installation, or you can start a new installation, or start a new installation. You can also upgrade from this space 1.x, 3.x, 4, 5, 6 to 7. You know, we can. But starting a new installation versus upgrade in place, which one is advisable? Which one is advisable? Because of the scale of upgrade, the complexity involved in upgrading this space, it is recommended to start with a new installation. Okay? Yeah start with a new installation. It's gonna give you an opportunity to get familiar with the software. Then number two, then number three, you can migrate your data, you know, to this space when you are set. So get a new installation, install a fresh this space, get familiar with it, then migrate your data from this space 6.x to this space 7.x. I mean, 7.8, the latest version is 6. So installing this space, starting from a new installation, let's look at a quick installation of this space. Um, there are two components in this space seven. We have the back end, the REST API, and the front end, the Angular UI. So what are the requirements for the back end, the REST API? So to install the REST API, these are the requirements you need to install Java, you need to install Apache Marvin. Marvin is a Java build tool. It's used to build the first, um, the, it's, it's used to, to, to build this space installer. The Apache Ant. It's also a Java build tool. It's used for installing this space. Then we have Progress SQL. That's the database for this space. With PG Crypto installed. PG Crypto extension allow this space to create universally unique identifiers for all objects. Okay, then we have the Apache Solar, you know, which is used for full test, index, and search service. Then the Tomcat, which um, is powering the 
the, the, the back end, okay, the back end, the REST API run on some cards, then Git, then the latest display software. So all these software are very, very important for you to install the Okay, very, very important. Now, so the installation process, install and configure the prerequisite software I mentioned above, then download the backend software code, then configure a look at your CFG file, then build the, build the package. I said this stage is a bit, um, you know, a technical, so you can just follow me. I will be through very soon. Then you can install this within and fresh install, then deploy your the app to Tomcat, copy the solar config and um, start Tomcat and solar. So let's quickly see how this works. So I have a how uh, this works. So I've installed the necessary software. So I want to install this space now. I mean, the REST API. So the first thing is to, I've downloaded the REST API. I'm, I'm extracting it now. I'm extracting the REST API. Okay. So next, I will rename the this space 7.6 to this space source. So that is my source, installation source. Then I'll go into the directory. I want to create my local .cfg file. So I'll go into uh, move into this space folder, config folder, create what I call the local.cfg, local.cfg file. Okay. Then I'll open my local.cfg file. There, we have some important parameters here. So um, basically, this space dot dihl is very very important. That is the, the destination I want to install my this space. So that should be slash opt slash this space hyphen seven slash server. So that's it. you know any choice you, know, you can determine the location. We have control over that. Then the this space server URL. That's the address of the this space. Okay. That's my. Back end URL API in this space two dot ten dot com. Then you then this space UI URL that is the the front end address, which is this space two dot ten dot com. That is uh, the public interface. Then I can decide to change the name of the of my instance. I'll call it Stenos Digital Repository. So installing this space can take days. Okay, I'm just trying to summarize the installation process here. What's an idea of how it looks like? So I'm just trying to check through the configuration file here to be sure that uh, I'm okay, I'm good. I'm, you can see the database, so I'm okay. So next, I will try and um, compile this space now using Marvin. So I want to use this space package now. So I'll move to this space source, then I will use a Marvin package. So I want to package the this space uh, installation. So Marvin is creating the installer. So I'm creating this space installer using Marvin. It's a build tools, it's a Java build tools. Okay. So success. I've been able to create my installer, then I will use ants. So I'm going to the installer folder now. So I will use ants, which is also a Java build tool to install this space. So ant, ant fresh install. So ant will install my this space to the directory specified in the local CFG in the slash of slash this space I think seven slash server. So ant is installing my this space now. So, okay, successful. So let's check out this space server. So I have my REST API installed in slash opt slash this space type in seven slash server. So I want to check my local.cfg file to be sure that um, everything is okay. So I'm double, ch double checking again. So good. So let me try and um, let me check Tomcat status. Now the REST API is, is running on Tomcat. I've already configured Tomcat on this server. 
So let me check my REST API now. So this is my REST API. So this is the actual D space. Okay, this is the actual D space. So all your information, so your assets, they are available here, but it's not user friendly. So now go to uh, to the Angular UI, the front end that we are familiar with. So let's quickly look at Angular UI requirements for installing this space seven user interface. Now this space seven UI run on Node.js. Okay, so then Yan. That Yan is a package manager. Then PM2. PM2 is a process manager. Then this space seven front end uh, software. Then take note of this for developers here. Yeah, Anytime you make changes to your DSpace UI, you need to rebuild. In DSpace 7, you can use a um, YAN um, Build Pro. We are coming to that. Okay? You can use YAN Build Pro. So let's quickly see how to install this DSpace 7 user interface. So you have to install Node first, Node. You have to install Node, YAN, and PM2. Then download the code base from DSpace website. Install all the dependencies using Yarn install. Configure your config.pro.yml. Then build your disk space. Then you can start your server. Okay. I've installed all these. You know, they are complicated. I've installed all these. So save us time. Then I will just uh, run the installer right away. So let's have a look of um, how to run the station. We are almost through with the webinar. So I think this should be the last. Um, practical session, then you rest, I'll just uh, give some overview. So I'm extracting the user interface now, downloaded it from this page site. I'm extracting from the command line. So next, I will install the dependencies. I'm trying to rename the, the file, I'm trying to rename the file to client, I call it client. You can give it any name you like. So I'll go inside inside client, I'll try and um, install the dependencies, run it, and install. Yarn install. So I'm installing dependencies. Done. So I've installed all this before. That is why it's quite fast. Then Yarn build fraud. I want to build my display into production, the UI, UI into production, the user interface into production. So, okay, it's ongoing. Should be completed very soon. So, done, completed. So now, let me, let's start um, our user interface. So this space user interface run on Node.js, okay? And you can manage Node.js application using uh, PM2. I'm trying to check the connectivity between the front end and back end using Yarn test rest, because the front end and back end must connect together, okay? So I'm going to the config file. I want to uh, verify my config.co.yml to be sure that um, I'm good, all right? Uh, okay, that's that's perfect. So we have um, that's my host, that's my backend URL. So I'm trying to connect my user interface to my backend. That's the REST API. So my UI is currently running on localhost 4000. Localhost 4000. So I think I'm. This is okay. Okay. Just trying to cross check again. So I'm good to go. So I want to start the user interface now using PM2. PM2 is a process manager. Okay. One of the ad advantages of using PM2 is that um, PM2 allow you to run this space in cluster mode for the for, for developers here. You can see that I'm able to run my disk space on four processors. I have four processors on this server. So with PM2, you can run this space on, in cluster mode. By default, if you're not using PM2, you're using one processor. Okay, I'm able to run, P okay, I'm currently, I'm stopping the instance, I'm stopping the user interface. So I'm starting it again. So I'm currently running PM2 in cluster mode. PM2 is a process manager. It's used for managing Node.js application. Okay, so we can see my user interface. So that's my user interface. That is the front end. Okay, so so the two components of this space we have the the, the back end and the front end of this space seven, the back end and the front end. The back end is um, the REST API, the front end is the user interface. Okay, so 
That's all. Now, upgrade to display seven. What are the steps you need to take to upgrade to display seven? Number one, back up your old display 6.x server and below. So before you start your upgrade, it is strongly recommended that you create a backup. I, I can't emphasize this, yeah, I emphasize this more than enough. It is recommended that you create a backup of your disk space content. Backup are easy to recover from. Okay, a botched install or upgrade is very difficult, if not possible, to recover from. So before you commence upgrade, ensure you back up your data, I mean your, 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 your D space content. Then after you back up, you can migrate your data to the newly installed D space. So what do you back up in D space 6.x? What do you back up? You back up your, your customization, maybe XML, your DSP, your customization. You back up your, your D space directory, or at the barest minimum, you back up your asset store. Then you back up your, your Postgres database. Then you back up your solar statistic. But at the barest minimum, you must back up your Postgres and asset store. So those are the two important uh, components. At the barest minimum, your Postgres database, all your metadata, information about collections, about community, about items, they are stored in Postgres database. Then all your files, your B strips, your PDF, your Word document, they are stored in asset store. Okay, so we must back up those two uh, components. So I migrate your data, migrate the database using PGDOM, migrate your asset store, you click, okay, create your local CSG file, then you can run this space database, migrate, migrate, ignore. Then to index your this, then switch to new server. We are almost done. So production and HTTPS support. This you know we have um, normal uh, by default. This space run on the I mean the front end. It runs on the Tomcat. I mean on no, no so sorry not Tomcat. It runs on Node.js. Node.js that's the front end. Node.js powered by PN2. Then the back end run on Tomcat. So you can configure proxy to so enable HTTPS support for this space. You can configure proxy from Apache or in or NGX to your backend to the to Tomcat, which one on port 8080, or to Node.js, which one on port 4000. Okay, you can um, so system administrators will understand what I'm talking about here. You can set up reverse proxy from Apache or NGX to your display backend. Your Front end and back end to run this space on HTTPS going for So you upgrade and installation issues, you can visit the URL, the link I have here. Then I have some important uh, display config file here. The display there I have is the back end install folder. The server URL is the back end URL. So for example, for installation I did is um, that's um, API I think this, this space to I think API dot com. That's the display server URL. Then the display here I have is slash opt slash display seven slash server. But the one I just did now. Then the display UI URL is the URL of the user interface. That is the display two plus ten nodes dot dot com. And your database, your solar server, then some other parameters like that. So if you need um, more consultation in this space installation, you can so you can check through this link. I'm standing to extend it to display seven. So we provide affordable uh, display cloud hosting you know, at a very affordable cost. So I think we've come to the end of um, this um, seminar.